that one. Who? Okay, this was the smaller version of that one. Okay. And then I decided to try to do it big. And it's really where the Dungeness River comes together where it forms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. And here again is that pastel mm -hmm. that I washed and put under the sink again. And this is what's left of. Yeah, a nice a nice a nice finish. Backdrop. You right. Know. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean yeah, that's how you layer it in there. You mm -hmm. get a background and you get the mid ground and the foreground mm -hmm. finally. Mm -hmm. Layer by layer. And it's a different way of doing it. It's totally a different way of doing it. The, the series over there was going home series, and that's the same way. Oh. It's layers and layers and, and layers. layers. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, sometimes the only way to get depth other than the, you know, do some geometric uh, two and a half just D stuff. Just let it happen. Yeah, just you let just it happen. let it happen, and you layer it, and then you get that depth and exactly. shadow. Exactly. Exactly. So. And I was telling Paul that this is a series that I started yesterday, looking from the nest. And it's watercolor and pastel and graphite. How about talking about susu sticks? Okay. These are beach sticks. This is Alyssa. Okay. And if you'll turn around, there's Milford on the wall. Okay. And the Native Americans have spirit sticks. Yeah. The Aborigines have uh, toas. Okay. These are white woman sticks. Okay. And they're white woman susu sticks. Okay. Cool. When I worked in Forks in a gallery out there, the little girl couldn't say Susan. So she called me Susu. So the sticks are white woman susu sticks. sticks. And that's Mildred and this is Alyssa. And Alyssa cool. has trade beads on, the lips were carved, and the sticks were from the beach. That's cool. Yep, yep, exactly. This is acrylic, it's sky surfing. And kind of like seagulls or sea hawks exactly. or something. Exactly, riding the sky, riding the way to the sky. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go into North Wind Fine Arts in Port Townsend, and then they'll go to Jefferson County Hospital and they'll be displayed in there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is, it is. North Wind does a rotating show in Jefferson County, and these mm -hmm. would have gone last Tuesday, but they're but, put on hold. Well, yeah. Exactly. But lately I'm doing some sculpture with Ooh. found objects. This is um, Elwha Annie, and she okay. was found at the mouth of the Elwha. Nice. And her hair is from our bookkeeper's sheep. Oh, that's cool. Okay. The lips I carved. Nice. The beads are trade beads. And cool. then these creatures go with her, so it's Elwha Annie and her river dance. Oh, nice. So in the river, in the stones, and they're all found objects. Cool. So I kind of like to work that way. This is awesome. Now I've seen it where, where you have it all decked out for art jam and stuff. Do you want too. to walk out? Sure. Okay, we can walk out. The upper murals, the eight upper murals, were done in my granddaughter and grandson's birthday parties. Cool. And it's each year, right? Some of the themes were animals, some of them were the farm, mm -hmm. some of them were music. The lower pieces of work were done at last year's art jam. And we've done murals, community art project murals. Rains are pro. Isn't he beautiful? Beautiful. Yeah. And the canvases were done at last year's community art project, and this mm -hmm. year we'll be doing that. And that's, of course, that's the red tailed deer. Oh, cool. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, yeah. Red tailed deer. Red tailed deer. And our jam is on again for this year, barring that we have people allowed in. Well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully by July they figure out this current uh, issue. Exactly, exactly. So it is fun. Yeah. This was part of our totem that we did two years ago for Art Jam. This was my section of it. And we oh, had a totem cool. pole coming up and everybody had their own section. And you did fish. I did and fish. starfish. And stars. Like. Sea stars, I guess I should say. I think so, yeah. How was the to How tall was the totem like? Eight feet? How tall was it? Eight feet. Eight feet? Yeah, probably. Okay, and each, each of the art jam artists had a layer. Oh, that's cool. And they did it in their own way. Well, yeah. This it showed the, the artists united Exactly, group. exactly. Yeah. We've done um, chairs, like for Habitat for Humanity, where we take mm -hmm. the chair apart, and each artist does a part of it, and then we put it like back together. Like one arm, one arm, the mm -hmm. legs, whatever. This year we're doing, yeah, another chair and probably a chest of drawers, and we'll have it here during that's art cool. jam. And then we'll sell it, and the proceeds will go to food bank. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Is that it? Yeah. The, uh, the totem turned, right. you know, rotated, so right. you can 
Yeah. Well, the people were watching it, too. Exactly. Well, that's what the, I'm guessing, the pole in the middle that held it, it all together. They all fed it on there. Right, right. Yeah. Right. 